Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My daily driver is the Crusader Spirit C1 and I absolutely love this ship. But what can you actually do to make some real space money with it? Here are some examples to both have fun and make some money with it. But first of all let's have a short glance around the ship. We open the inner door and then we close the outer ramp and now just notice the nice light effects around the ramp. We have a nice cargo space of 64 SCU and we will see later in the video this gives us also plenty of room to store some smaller vehicles. Here we have the components such as shield generator, quantum drive etc. which will be important after the next patches where you need to access all these areas. We have a small kitchenette and a bathroom. Again this will be more important in the future. We have some escape pods and two beds for logging out. Now let's get out into the verse and do some basic missions. An obvious choice and one of the most common questions is, can you do bounty hunting with the Spirit C1? And yes, keeping in mind it is a generalist ship and not a dedicated bounty hunting ship, it is still able to do some HRT bounty missions. Maybe you can even go higher if you are a skilled pilot. First I tried out the scatter laser loadout I used for my Hornet Mark II. Unfortunately, the Spirit only has 4 weapon slots compared to the 6 you will have with the Hornet. Maneuverability is much worse and on top of that the HRT targets are much smaller and more nimble than the big VHRT or even ERT targets we tried with the Hornet. So overall I do not recommend this loadout. Instead I stick with the basic laser cannon loadout. While having lower DPS on paper, I'm still able to apply more damage to the target in shorter time, resulting in faster kills. Overall, HRT bounty missions will pay out 11,000 Alpha UEC, a bit more with call to arms, which is okay, but we can do better. Instead you should try out some satellite missions, unauthorized surveillance detected, which pay out 16,000 Alpha UEC plus call to arms. The timer after killing one of the satellites has been removed and also you will face some hostile ships which you will be able to kill easily. So you have a bit of fighting, you have a bit of flying and overall with the C1 I prefer these missions over the bounty missions. This is one of the satellites you need to find and destroy. A few shots will do the job. Ships attacking here are prospectors and auroras, so you get some combat training, but you are in no real danger. Contract complete, 16,000 in the bank. You can stay to fight or just continue with the next mission. Sometimes I'm not in the mood for fighting, just like to travel around the verse and see some places. This is when I do some box delivery missions. Just pick up some packages and deliver them to the drop-off machines. Nice, easy and relaxing. There are easier missions where you just need to deliver one package and other missions where you need to travel to multiple locations but on the other hand the payout is much better. I prefer doing the one package only missions but I like to combine these with some cargo trading in the meantime. Here I bought 64 SCU of Laranite and delivered that to Area 18 for an extra profit of 32,000 Alpha UEC on top of what you get for the basic box delivery mission.
When traveling around like this, sometimes you meet some real nice people around. Bounty extraction missions are really easy done. In fact, you don't need to extract anything. Just look for your target, shoot it and be gone. Or if you like, you can loot the armor and weapons before you go. Mission complete, 15,000 Alpha UEC earned. Here is a size comparison with another very popular daily driver, the Cutlass Black. Both have a nice cargo space where you can also put in some smaller ground vehicles and even a grey cat rock for some rock mining. Here you see a direct comparison of both hangars. Ah, who put all the rocks on the way? The RSI Medivac will fit in neither the Cutlass Black nor the Spirit C1. You will need something with a bigger ramp, such as the Mercury Star Runner. Mercury will fit the Medivac easily, even when you are ambushed by another player. But back to the C1. Let's try to have some bigger profits now. I go to New and Waste Management on Daymar to buy some illegal goods. This is a bit more risky. You should definitely bring a gun. But on the other hand, the profits are really nice. I buy all the stocks of Neon, Etam and Widow. Then I head over to Brea's Breaker Yard for selling.
There must have been some fighting here before. The terminal is blocked by some ship wreckage. But anyway, I go to the terminal and sell my goods. Overall profits around 69,000 Alpha UAC. You can make even more profit with the RMC run, from Rappel to Lawville. This route is even more risky and you need to pay up front for your goods, so you need to invest around 750,000 Alpha USC. On the other hand, the pure profit of this run will be around 166,000 Alpha USC if you can make it back to Lawville. So overall the Spirit C1 does support a lot of game loops. You can make some serious profit or you can just enjoy your time in the verse. And of course always a good option is supporting your group and do some multi-crew missions. If you're looking for a cheaper alternative to the C1, the Cutlass Black is a real good option. For some entry-level cargo hauling maybe you would like to upgrade to the Freelancer Max. Or maybe you would like to save till you can afford a better generalist ship such as the Drake Corsair, which is fantastic for general purpose, and some say it's the best bounty hunting ship in the game, currently. Anyway, I will still have fun with my Spirit C1 in the game. It is a real beauty, and it is worthy to be called a real daily driver. Thank you, and please visit again. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, please leave me a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, see you in the verse. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel.